really wanted <laughs> since my fasting is very difficult now for me. Oh yes, I can imagine the fasting, yes. So how many days have you fasted or how many weeks? Uh, no, uh, I would like one week, today is fifth day. Oh, so almost one week has been completed. Yes, Yet, uh, all fasting is seven weeks, but I only one. <laughs> ah, not. so you're only going to do one week. Okay. Yes. And yeah. you miss about uh, normal food, and you posted this <laughs> picture. <laughs> yes, Lydia, you know, I had a very strange dreams tonight. I, uh, uh, I'm hunted with Nicolas Cage for rabbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, rabbits, yes. I, I fortunately, I don't, rem I don't remember what finished the story, but I remember <laughs> how I uh, show him uh, how control guns. <laughs> yes, I really wanted. <laughs> you must have been watching some Nicolas Cage movies lately. No, frankly, but no? I don't know why here, but... <laughs> mm, interesting. I've never had an actor in my dreams. Hmm. What does that mean? You know, it's really interesting because, um, you know, dreams can be interpreted. You know, there are certain people out there that can kind of interpret dreams and they can tell you what the dream might mean. Um, it would be interesting to know what that means when you dream about celebrities. And uh, <laughs> the scientist who uh, pr proved this, it's fraud. fraud. Ah, uh, Freud, yeah. Freud, mm -hmm. yeah. And he interpreted all uh, our dreams, and he proved that it uh, has um, links, a link uh, with uh, your desire in, inside you. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. Refl reflect your desire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sigmund Freud. Yeah, that's it. Yes, uh, interesting. So, um, yeah, welcome everyone else, by the way, it's Alex and Sergey and Lydia. Hello. Good to see you all. How was your day? Did you have another tiring day, Alex? <laughs> yeah, I think it's all about the weather and uh, winter. Well, it's almost the spring, I think, and the weather is just... Mm, more springy than wintry, <laughs> if I can say so. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, mm, today wasn't shine, mm, but yesterday it was, and it was a very big difference. Today it's a bit cloudy and dull, so maybe, <laughs> and maybe I sh should go to sleep. <laughs> And that's all. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that will be an early night then for Friday. Yeah. Friday is especially if you have a long day at work, it, it tends to be um, very exhausting and you can't wait to have a rest. With me, I don't know, I try to stay up on a Friday. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Even though I have me a too. Long... I don't know why. Yeah, I, I have force to myself to sleep. <laughs> not to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Monday yeah. also also exhausted because it's big beginning of the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for me, it, for me, it's more. It's it must uh, be <laughs> on Sunday. You must be uh, very late at bed. So if you want to get your week start good. Yes. True. Yeah. Um, you know, I think in a way, a lot of this has to do with. Um, you know, I'm gonna hit you with some philosophical questions now. <laughs> you know, I think, you know, why why do people feel so um, feel so depressed? What's that, Sergey? <laughs> You're trying to paste a link. That was a very long. I am time. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what is it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, um, we all are, I think we can all relate wow. to this. We all feel a little bit, you know, unenthusiastic, you know, when it comes to, 
going about our day to day life, day to day things, you know, our daily things. And yeah, but a lot of it has got to do with just a state of mind, like it's uh, is the attitude. It's all yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I mean, of course, you know, if you have a tough day physically, you're exhausted from maybe talking or thinking about, you know, projects and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I think it's just got to do with your attitude and uh, the state of mind, how you perceive things, and if you're optimistic or or not. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I agree, and scientists has proven that uh, everything goes from attitude of yourself. If you are um, optimistic, then you are very <laughs> bright, smiling to people, and people uh, for you um, smile. Uh, you, I don't know how to say, vice versa, maybe. <laughs> Ah, they kind of, yeah, yeah. So, if you are around people who are optimistic, um, if you are, you, you tend then, to be you, uh, then uh, your surroundings may be optimistic too. I think so. Yeah. It's all about yourself. And uh, I remember one experiment uh, some scientists have go to the streets uh, and. Uh, for one day, he uh, just smiles to everybody, and uh, he saw that people smile back at him, and everyone was everything was good. Uh, weather was perfect. People were, mm, I don't know, kind, beautiful, and so yes. on. Uh, and another day, he uh, went to the streets uh, when he was in a dull uh, mood. And uh, he saw that everyone is dull, everything is bored, everything is not very kind, and so sure. on. Everything yeah. goes. Beauty, yeah. I, I remember, beauty in the eye of the beholder, something mm. like that. Yes, yeah, the beauty lies in, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, interesting, <laughs> I was looking at the, at the employee. Um, yeah. Picture there. Employees over 30 years old. Friday, dead. <laughs> Employees under 30 years old. Hmm. Well, I am over 30 and I feel like I'm in the lower category. I agree. <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Um, yeah. But a, a lot of it has to do with. Um, your perception, just understanding what you're doing, what's the purpose of life and so on. And you can choose to be sad or you can choose to be happy. You know, you got to look at the positive things and surround yourself with positive people and positive, um, you know, with, an, with a positive environment. Surroundings. But surroundings, yeah. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, maybe that's for uh, another time. That's quite a vast, it's quite a broad topic. A lot of things are interconnected with this. So um, maybe next time we can pick it up again. But for now, we're going to talk about um, weather. Last time we didn't get to finish our lovely uh, weather forecast, if you remember. <laughs> yeah, we did a, uh, a brief, you know, study of the different abbreviations when it comes to looking at a weather, you know, the weather page of a newspaper. And um, so we covered this and we pretty much learned these abbreviations and then we looked at a, <clears throat> a weather page, you know, a three-day international forecast yeah. So now the next page, I think most of you are present, yeah? So the next page, this is where we continue, and it's related to the previous page. Uh, we have to, um, you know, answer these questions, and um, 
re which are related to the forecast above. Yeah. So if you want, I think we all remember which, what the abbreviations meant. Yeah, C was for cloudy, FG is for fog, and so on. Um, but I can scroll up if you're stuck at any moment. So for now, let us have a look. Um, let's start with the first question. Maybe Artyom would like to try and answer the first question. Uh, which day is going to be the night in the local area? Mm -hmm. So which day is going to be the nicest in the local area? Uh, I should choose uh, answer. Yeah. Yes. yeah, so now we need to find according to this page. I choose Athens. Mm -hmm. You think it's Athens? Athens. Mm -hmm. But what's the question again? Let's have a look. Which day is going to be the nicest in the local, local. area? So where's the local area here? Uh, How do we know what's local? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know? Local area? Local area? Yeah. It's uh, the Maybe. place where we live. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, for us, it's no. So what's local here? Ah. <laughs> Out of all of these that you see here, the what's drone? I think ah yeah, the most uh, top, the top local three days forecast. Ah, you see local three day forecast. It's these three. Very good. See, you have to pay attention to the questions. They'll be tricky. So <laughs> local is just these three. Because usually when you hear a, a weather forecast, or if you're reading a weather forecast, the first thing you hear about weather is about the local weather. And then later on comes the you know, national or international and so on. So, Artyom, which one of the three do you think is the nicest? Mm. I think Sunday becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. Yes, Sunday. We can see that the other two are, um, you know, first one is cloudy, 60% chance of showers. And then we have temperatures are lower than these. These are the highest temperatures. So it's going to be a bit warmer. And there is no rain and mostly sunny, definitely. So Sunday is the <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I, I, slush, I uh, hear your breathing <laughs> <laughs> like a wind. You know? <laughs> okay. I think maybe his microphone is um, so close. It's, it's close to you, close to his mouth. I just survived for, for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that annoying you, Lydia? <laughs> when you hear uh, someone breathe like that. <laughs> okay, let's do the second one. <laughs> but what did they mean is uh, by the question which day is going to be nicest? But for me, nicest is always Saturday. Ah, ah, for because <laughs> you like the rain, don't you? No, because I like Saturday. <laughs> Oh, Saturday. Yeah. Well, good question. Yes, that's a, yeah. another philosophical question. Yeah. For me, today <laughs> is the best local <laughs> day. Yeah, true. Um, but according to the you know the weather, we know that. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. All right, Sergey, do the second one for us. Which day will likely be the rainiest in the local area? Uh, it's Monday. Yep, Monday. 100% chance. Exactly, yeah. very good. That there is no chance to be no rain. Yeah. To have no rain, yeah, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, there's no chance for it to have no rain. 
that particular day. Three, Lydia. Your mic's muted, Lydia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which night will be the coolest in the local area? <coughs> mm. My, uh, I should uh, pick up from this table. Yep. Mm. Night. night. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> so which? Where is the local? Local forecast. Europe. Uh, in Europe, I don't understand clearly the question. I should uh, uh, choose uh, the, the second, the second uh, temperature. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But, so but mm -hmm. you remember last time? I think you were here. Were so, we... oh, in my in my uh, local time in Moscow. Or... Yeah, according to this page only. Oh. On, whatever you see here, we have to de determine the answer. So we know no, that only London, London in Monday, uh, mm -hmm. only one Celsius. Okay, but is London local? No, but uh, I live in Moscow, in, <laughs> not in London. No, no, we have two parts on this page, local forecast and international forecast. You have to see uh, to uh, yeah, to look at local forecast. Yes, hmm? you see on this page, Lydia. This is the local forecast mm -hmm. for three three days. Local according to this. So wherever this is, we don't know where local is supposed to be. Uh, it's somewhere. Okay. It's local. Yeah. For, let's just pretend. Let's pretend it's. Ah, uh, okay. It's Monday then. Low, yes. far, low. Far. Okay, I understand. I, 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 yes. I, I think I must. I should uh, choose from these tables: Asia, Europe. Yeah, that's well. the trick. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the trick. I was waiting for you to kind of try to figure it out yourself. Yeah, but there are two parts to this. So top is local, and then the rest is international. Mm. Okay, that's the correct answer. So Monday, fourth, Alex. Which day will be the windiest in the local area? So, winds increasing, uh, wind slides, um, clearing overnight. Hmm. Maybe Sunday will be windiest because today wind slides, uh, Sunday will be increasing. And on Monday it will be clear. So ah, strong winds. There it is. Monday. Yeah. Yeah, then Monday. Yeah, you probably didn't see this. I was yeah. Asking. Yeah, I was uh, sure to find wind in the last, but there it is in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they mix it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely Monday. Strong winds. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, Artyom, five. On which day can a local resident leave his her umbrella at home? Mm, it's Monday too because one hundred chance of rain. You Monday? sure? On which day can a local resident leave his or her umbrella at home? I at home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so course. when you don't need it. Yes, yes. Is it still Monday? Uh, Monday will be good, but it's uh, Sunday. Sunday? Yes. That's yes. It. Sunday there's no rain. Yeah, they're saying it's just cloudy, becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. So no need for an umbrella. You can leave it at home. Very good. Sunday it is. Okay, what about six? Sergey? On which day is the probability of precipitation 100%? According to the 
broad forecast it's Monday. Yes. Yeah, according to this, it's Monday, isn't it? Yeah. But what is probability that forecast is true? Uh, what's the prob? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's just a probability of precipitation for it to be a hundred percent. Same as chance, isn't it? Probability is chance. So here. Yeah, yeah, but there is two probabilities: the predicted probabilities and the probability that prediction is valid. Mm. Yeah. Another philosophical question. It's not <laughs> just a philosophical, it's a math, math question. <laughs> oh, mathematical. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, I, don't, I don't know how to say it in English, it's just how to say it's uh, sorrow in my eyes, uh, in my eye, uh, to see such a thing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's good to express it. it. Because, um, oh, oof, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's continue. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no worries. Okay, seven. Lydia? Oh, I have problem with uh, <clears throat> Mine? Yes. Uh, read, read the international forecast. Is there any city that will be sunny on three days? Mm -hmm. now, it's, now I must work with table, yes? Yes, now we look at the international forecast. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, Tokyo. Good. That's uh, all day sunny, sun, uh, sunny, sunny, sunny. Excellent. So all of them have a three-day forecast today, Sunday, Monday, or mm -hmm. pretending today, Saturday. So Tokyo is the only one that has sunny days. Sunny Three. day. Mm -hmm. Yes. S stands for sunny. Don't don't forget. S N is snow. Snow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, eight. Alex? Which city will have the highest temperature in the next two days? Mm. Mm. Highest temperature... Maybe Athens. 24, 24, 23... Ah, New Delhi. <laughs> there it is. You sure? But, no. Singapore. Ah, yeah. Well, that's it's it. Close. It's between New Delhi and Singapore. Yeah. However, look at the night temperature in New Delhi. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to Singapore. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Big difference. Excellent. So it's Singapore. I want to. I don't want to go to Singapore. <laughs> yeah, Singapore it's is very right. I've been there. It's it's really nice, but the, if you can um, endure the weather, very warm. <laughs> yeah, if you can endure that um, monsoon climate, you know the mm -hmm. very tropical or the very sticky weather, then you know go go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was there for a week, and I don't know. I didn't enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. The, every time I stepped outside, I was within ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I was all sweaty. Mm -hmm. Just you need time to get used to it when you're living there, I guess. Um, all right, nine, Artyom. Uh, which city may have snow today? Snow. Maybe Paris. Temperature is the low minus one. Yeah. What does that mean again? Uh, no idea. <laughs> SS. Does anyone else remember what SF stands for? Snowfall. Oh, sorry. Ah. 
No? No. Snow flurries. flurries. Fl and what is the difference? Snow is when it's snowing proper. Snow flurries, it's it's not very heavy snow. Oh, I see. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Okay, well done, Paris it is. Mm -hmm. Then we have question ten. Sergey. Yeah. Which of the European cities have the same forecast for today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which two European cities have the same forecast for today? Approximately the same or the same? The same. Now, for today, yeah. Oh, I see. It's Geneva and London. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So this is really good because it, it you're learning to... Because I only show you the question once. And then you have to think what you've just read to yourself. And then try to remember that information and look for it here. You're kind of skimming, yeah? No. This is what we also do in the IELTS. You know, you have to quickly skim for information or you know certain mm -hmm. words. Okay, this is a good skill to acquire. If you can do it quickly, that's really good. It'll, it'll save you a lot of time. Eleven. Oh, Lydia. Of those two cities, which one will have better weather over the next two days? Geneva. Yes. Mm. yes. Correct. Why? Um, <clears throat> because uh, uh, they uh, ten plus ten, and uh, today and sun uh, Sunday also plus ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And what's PC again? Partly, partly cloudy and rainy. R. R. Rainy. R is for rain, yeah? Mm hmm. Excellent. Very good. Okay. All right, very good. So, 12. Alex. Which city is expecting thunderstorms? Only one? They're mm. um, very. Much of them. As I remember, Singapore today. Mm. And on Monday. Ah, that's it. So, what's your answer? Uh, Singapore for Very. today and Monday. Very good. Yeah, it's going to have two days of thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. yeah. The correct answer is Singapore. Yeah, because which city is expecting thunderstorms? The city which is expecting thunderstorms is Singapore. Excellent. 13. Artyom. Which city will be hazy on Sunday? Mm -hmm. It's Hong Kong. On Sunday, yes. Yes, Hong Kong, very good. You can see it right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we're looking for Sunday. Straight away we see Hazy. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second last one, Sergey. What is a predicted high for Beijing today? It's not available. Very good. Yeah, information is not available, but this is what NA stands for. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, and last one, Lydia. 
Last uh, list three cities that will probably not have sunshine for the next three days. Mm -hmm. Next three days. Mm -hmm. And uh, today is next day too. Well, I think they they mean today, the day after, and then. Isn't isn't it? Uh, English rule. Mm. Is it mistake or to, is it um, No, you can actually include the current day. Uh, mm -hmm. Presumably, presumably this this is the morning. Um, you know, we are now in the morning. We're looking at a newspaper in the morning. So this is the forecast forecast for today around the world. Wow, today okay. sometimes can be next day, yeah. Well, you know, in the context. And it isn't strange for you to hear mm, that? No. no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It depends on the context. If you want to say for the next three days, that means today included, because today is still in the future. The day hasn't finished yet. You see? Yeah, but we don't have such way in Russia. Really? So if yeah. you say, ah, uh, yeah, if I was to say the next day, then we're talking about tomorrow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Clear. That's obvious, yeah. Yeah, and if we say next three days, we're saying about Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Oh, so it's clear like that in Russia yeah. as well, yeah? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. I think London, because <laughs> always rainy. <laughs> and uh, I see today and Sunday. Correct, yes. And uh, cloudy in Monday, it may be rain again. Three days. Um, um, maybe Paris. Snow flooding, flooding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rain and cloudy. Okay, correct. Both of them are correct. Yeah. So London, and Paris, and. Hmm. Where is no? Where is no sun? Sunday. I <laughs> try to find. <laughs> I don't know. Hong Kong. Yeah, but Monday it's gonna be sunny. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, what about tea? Tea at what? What is it? Tea. Tea. What does tea stand for? Thunderstorm. Mm. Ah, it's in Singapore. Excellent. Yeah, so when you have thunderstorms, mm -hmm. most likely it's going to rain. And when it's cloudy... Because in other uh, cities has Sundays yeah. during three days. And only Singapore also. Yeah. Actually, Seoul also has rain and cloudy. Rain, cloudy. A PC, PC but, uh, but partly cloudy. Yes. Partly cloudy, mostly will not rain. It's just going to be a bit cloudy, and that's it. And and, and what about Tokyo? Ah, sun. no, 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 it's not snow. <laughs> yeah, this is all sunny. It's sunny, sunny, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is interesting. This last question was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you have to kind of understand and estimate work according to probability or chance, you know. Okay, well done. That was good. And a good little practice there, guy. So now we have, this is supposed to be pair work, uh, but what we're going to do, see here we have six um, newspaper headlines. Okay, these are newspaper headlines, um, and they need to be matched to the sentences on the next page. Okay, so what we're going to do, not this, this is for the next one as well. Um, here, here they are. So these six um, sentences, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we have to match them to the previous page's headlines. Yeah, I hope that made sense. So let's read the first one and then we'll have a look at the other headlines, see which one 
suits the most for this particular sentence. So, Alex, could you read sentence seven for us? Uh, ten years old uh, Sean Peters has been lost in dense bush uh, since wandering away from his family's camp campsite on the weekend. Okay. We all got it? Mm. Right now. So now we've got to look. Uh, what is dense? Dense? What is it? Dense? Dense. Den dense. Yeah. Who knows what dense is? Bush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I understand what that is, by the way. Ah, maybe D. Boy still missing in the woods. D. You think it's D? Mm. Me too. Yeah. Anyone disagree? No. No. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, you know, it matches definitely. We're talking about a boy who is missing where in the woods. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So D, we've got that. Mark that for you. So D is done, and seven is done. Excellent. Your boy. All right. So eight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Artyom. Um, thousand of teachers walked off the job yesterday while demanding higher sailors and smaller class size. It look like similar. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, Which one of these headings? C maybe. Strike closest schools. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Excellent. The strike and schools. Perfect. Very good. That was easy. Okay. What is closes? Closes to close to to close, yeah. Yeah. Nearby. Yeah. And how can we find that it's closer? Smaller class sizes, yeah? Yeah, okay. I see it. Now I see it. Yeah, so um Thousands of teachers walked off the job. Basically, they didn't want to go to work. They want strike while demanding. Why? Because they demanded higher salaries and smaller class sizes. So they wanted smaller sizes. There are too many pupils, too many students in class. And strike closes schools. Closes here means the schools have been closed. They're not working. Closes here is not mean to uh, near or close to something. Near. Okay, Lydia? Mm -hmm. I, I heard you say near. It means ah. actually to shut. Mm -hmm. To shut. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. not open. It's not open for mm -hmm. students. Okay. All right, then nine. Li um, who oh. is it? Lydia. A shortage of daycare spaces has led to the op opening of a new business that is making use of the city all the population. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe A? <laughs> no, population. <clears throat> I forget I this <laughs> sentence. It's rainies on coal yeah, yes, fuel. Yes, But what is coal fuel they can need? You see, the headlines can be so misleading. It can be so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I uh, by accepting uh, some because uh, another don't uh, fit for this yeah. uh, sentence. Only. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes you don't necessarily understand every word in here, what they're trying to say. Uh, but let's have a look at it again. So they're saying, a shortage of daycare spaces yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, has led to the opening of a new business that is making use of the city's 
older population. So there's a shortage of daycare spaces. Yes. Uh, there aren't enough. Mark. It's like marker. Yeah. Keyword. Yeah. So because there aren't enough uh, daycare spaces, this led or this has led to the opening of a new business that is making use of the city's older population. So the grannies are happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on call to fill daycare need. There is a need of daycare space, uh, you know, spaces or places. So the grannies are called in to fill these spaces. It's very tricky to understand. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. I think we skipped you, um, Sergey. Yeah. Go ahead, do 10 for us. Three, three firefighters were injured yesterday when the 100-year-old Clarion Hotel burned to the ground. Mm -hmm. Heritage building destroyed. F. Excellent. Yeah, heritage means something which is really old and yeah. um, valuable as well. Okay, very good. Alex? I don't see it. Yeah, there it is. And John Sebastian uh, was arrested yesterday after neighbors had reported Mrs. Sebastian missing. Oh no! <laughs> Creepy! <laughs> and police charge harvestment in woman's disappearance. Very good. I'm just uh, reading Gone Girl in native English. <laughs> it's just about it. <laughs> You're reading the book? Yeah. Gone Girl. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen the movie. It yeah, the movie is great for yeah. me. And um, me and my wife uh, joined it. Yeah, it was uh, good. Enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> How's the book going? Is the book just as exciting? Uh, yes, I hope so. I'm reading it in, in English, so uh, yeah, it's uh, another practice for me. That's good. Are there many challenging words or big words? I think I understood uh, almost 95%. That's excellent. Yeah, so it's okay. I skipped uh, sometimes skipping uh, some words. And I think it's it's okay for me for now. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Ninety-five percent is excellent. Okay, let's do the last one. Hmm. Twelve. Artyom. Okay. Uh, if you are planning to buy a new car soon, think. Fuel efficiency. 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 What is it? Efficiency. efficiency yeah. Yeah. Ah. Mm, maybe. F effect. Oh, li like profit. Mm, no, it's. Uh, yeah. You want to save. If you want to save something, so if it's fuel efficient, it means you can save money on it. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy a fuel efficient car, you will save money. It doesn't, you know, waste a lot of petrol. For example, mm. Artyom? It's difficult to choose. <laughs> yeah. It's the most difficult question. Ah. Yeah, sorry. So it's B. What B. is guzzlers? Ah. I think gas, it's gas guzzlers. It's opposite oil, yes? No, no gas guzzlers is something like uh, idiom. I don't know if it's idiom. It's people. Who uh, don't uh, economy? I don't know how to say it. Uh, they bought a very non-efficient car, like yeah. SUV with a big yes. engine. So oh, they who, who waste money? Yes. Like Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you get a big Dodge or you know. Yeah, Dodge with five liter engine, <laughs> or even six. Yeah. Six and two turbo. Yes, or yeah. you know, a, a big, uh, sports car, for example. If you get one, a, one hundred liters per mile, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So the opposite yeah. of a fuel efficient car. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays we have electric and um, cars. So they're, they're very uh, efficient cars. Mm -hmm. The opposite are like, you know, V8 engines and SUVs. Oh, like no, one. <laughs> Formula One. Well, and nowadays Formula One cars are becoming more and more, you know, more environmentally friendly. Yes, but uh, 100 kilos per, I don't know, uh, 100 kilometers of fuel. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's. I'm I'm just missing the sound. I wish it. Yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have six more, so here are the different the other ones. So let's keep going. Sergey? One person has died of complications from a deadly bacterium at City Hospital and 20 others remain in serious condition. Wow. <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> Okay. No. Yes. Kills so, one. Yes, outbreak kills one. Yes. Super bug. Super bug. Yeah. Outbreak. Outbreak. What is super bug? It's just a name. It's like a like a disease. Mm. You know, a super bug. You know, a bug. You know, when someone sometimes you say, "Oh, I'm sick. I think I must have picked up a bug from someone." Oh, yeah. And when it's, it's, it's super bug. Yeah. yeah. Ebola like is super bug. Yes. I guess so. Yeah. Mm. It's a synonym of uh, strong uh, disease. Disease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That was good. Let's have a look at the other ones. Number two. Lydia. Uh, Forty-two years old. The woman who was reported missing last week has been found frozen to death oh, Boja. <laughs> beside her <laughs> car <laughs> along a major highway. Oh, jeez, what? That's not really nice news. Yes, woman, it's G. Woman's body found beside car. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Okay, three. Alex. Middle class singers and couples without kids are not going to benefit from new government budget. Families with children win. Yeah, families with children win. So it's a win win for both. Or, I mean, families who have kids, they win. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing for good news, basically. Excellent. Four. Artyom. Authorities uh, have still not determined why the queen of the northern seas slammed into a, an island and sank last year. Maybe because of fairy thinking still unknown. Good. Yeah. But I don't know what this means. <laughs> you know what a fairy is? What's a fairy? The ship. Uh, some, some sort of. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's ships that carry uh, passengers and... And, uh, and vehicles. That's and it. Cars, yeah. Yes, excellent. That's exactly okay. it. To sink means to go underwater. You know, like the Titanic? Hit a, yeah. an iceberg and it, it sank. Yeah. But not only cars, but uh, their cars. It's it's uh, uh, freight trucks as well. Freight trucks as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, yeah. mm -hmm. that's correct. All right, five, Sergey. Uh, Florida boat continues to leak diesel fuel into the ocean after cooling with another ship. Of the coast of Washington. Can I ask a question about previous uh, question? What, what is slammed? Uh, slammed, like yeah. to hit, hit into an island. 
Slam. Oh, slam. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. And colliding. And is colliding is pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. Colliding is more between two two things that are kind of the same. Two ships. Two cars. I know the word collider. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's yeah. the same. <laughs> it's the same meaning. Yeah, collider and uh, particles Items. are collide in, in that. So yeah. okay. it's L oil spill and dangerous sea life. Excellent. Yeah, oil spill in dangerous sea life. So it's it's making. Um, Life dangerous, or it's making it dangerous for the sea life, the marine life, fish basically. Last one. And the most yeah. difficult question goes to Lydia this time. <laughs> Jordan Yasman, the nine year old Canadian boy who had been held in the United States immigration facility with his parents, arrived back in Toronto yesterday. Mm -hmm. And how many comments for a youngster? A home homecoming. 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 For homecoming. Him. It's his return ah. to home. He's mm -hmm. coming. He's coming home, basically. This mm -hmm. can be like a noun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. That was good. So we've covered this. Now the next one will be a bit more um, vocab review on some headline news, some s interesting vocabs, and a bit of matching as well to do. So we'll we'll finish it the next time, hopefully. Um, any questions about any of this we've covered now? No. No. All good. Lovely. Thank you very much. And I shall see you if you're free in the next lesson. Mm -hmm. If if oh, not, okay. if not, I hope you have a great weekend. Oh, have a great weekend too. Um, <laughs> all right then. Thank you. Today Thank is you. Friday. Yeah. 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 See you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you. Okay. See you. Yeah. See you later then. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.